Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to bring you in. I, I promised you guys that I was going to be making steak. And this is it. Today is the day. Today is the day I'm going to be cooking steak. And I want to bring you guys in to share with you what I'll be having. Today I'm going to have steak. Real by steak. As you can see, real by steak. The black Angus. And then I'm going to make a nice juicy salad. It's going to consist of... You know, I'm going to use the romaine lettuce, not romaine, but the um, iceberg, you know, keep it simple today. And then I'm going to use red onions for my salad, tomatoes, and I'm going to have mild cheddar cheese I'm going to put in there. And as far as these steaks that I'll be searing, uh, I'm going to have sautéed mushrooms and sweet onion. Yes, baby. Yes, it's going to be a nice uh, hearty meal that I'm going to have today, and it's going to be delicious. But I want to bring bring you back in on these steaks. See how thick they are? You can eat good. I'm telling you. You just got to know what, where to go and what to buy. I bought these from Aldi's. You know, now that I'm, I'm telling you my secret here, uh, you just save some for me. Don't buy it all, okay? But this Black Angus uh, Real Buy Steak is worth every penny. I think it's affordable, okay? Uh, I purchased it, and I, I actually paid, what is it? Twelve, thirteen dollars, twelve something for this one. Okay, affordable. A steak like that, you go anywhere else, you're gonna pay fifty dollars to get for that steak. But this is what I paid for, and I'm gonna cook these two steaks. I like it a lot because they have marble in it. And these steaks are good steak, good ribeye steak. They're tender. Uh, I like mine medium well. I mean medium. Uh, you know, everybody don't like them uh, medium or medium well. Some people like them well done. But yeah. This one, this steak right here, it cost, what did it cost, guys? $12.20. Look at that. Look at that steak. Look at that steak. It's a nice size steak, guys. You can eat good, you know. And there's nothing wrong with treating yourself going out to eat. But, baby, you can buy yourself some food and cook this at home. Absolutely, absolutely. And with this salad here, it's going to be really tasty you know you cut up you some red onions and some tomatoes and then you got your mild cheddar cheese okay that's going to be really good and then with the sauteed mushrooms and onion that is a meal to to to, to die for i'm telling you it's, it's 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 really good so guys let me get back to you start preparing it um i want to show you what it's going to look like as i cook it okay i'm going to sear it so uh give me a moment and let's Tune in a little bit longer, and I'll show you exactly how we start to prepare. Hold on. Hi, guys. I'm back. I've actually placed my steaks in the pan in my skillet. And the type of oil that I use when cooking my steak is pure olive oil. I actually put a little bit in there. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. There you go. When you're cooking those steaks, you need a little oil in there. Alright, so as these cook, let me turn my stove up a little bit. Um, as these cook, I want to just let you know that they are the real buy steaks. Okay, these, this is what I'm cooking. The Black Angus real buy. They are affordable. You can buy them from all these. A uh, steak like this, it costs you a meal like this with the steak, the salad, and the sauteed mushrooms and onions. A meal like that will cost you over $100. But this we're going to do at home today, okay? These are nice size steaks. I should have actually took a look at the size so I can tell you the size of it, the weight of it, but this is what it looks like. See how thick they are? And I like the steak with the marble in it because, you know, having marble in your steak makes it, it makes it oh so good, okay? And over here, we got oil for the Onions. Let me turn that down. But we're gonna have sauteed onions, you know, that we're gonna have with this meal. I took a whole onion, it's a sweet onion. Let me turn that down some. You know, I had my skillet over here getting hot. You know, I can't forget what you have cooking on the stove because if you do, you burn the house down. We don't want to do that. Okay? You got your onions over here. Yeah, let them turn them down. These are sweet onions. Let them saute. See how they're cooking? 
Yeah, yeah. And I use a little pure olive oil for this as well. So I'm going to put a little bit more. A little bit more olive oil, okay? And let that simmer. And as that's cooking, I'm actually going to go over here and take my mushrooms because I've rinsed them, guys. I have to rinse all my food. I always clean my food. I always clean your food. Salad, uh, mushrooms, onions. You got to clean it all. Okay? That's my mushroom. You know, I got these mushrooms here from Aldi's. You can eat good at Aldi's if you know how to chop right. These are the mushrooms I bought from Aldi's. Okay? Zoom in on that. They're sliced. I get either ones, whether they slice or whole. You know, they, they don't make a difference. But I get the whole ones because they're already ready. And um, you can actually rinse them and go ahead and start using them. So that's just the uh, benefit of having them sliced already. You know, to me, it looks like I need some more mushrooms. Because I love mushrooms, guys. I told you before. Uh, if I didn't tell you before, I'm telling you now. I love me some mushrooms. On these mushrooms, okay, just add a little pepper. Okay, a little pepper. You know, season up the food to your liking. And add a little salt. And for that steak, you can do the same. Okay, you take your steak and put whatever seasoning you want on it to your liking. Just don't do over seasoning. Alright, so as that cooks, you know, saute mushrooms and onions. You're going to go over here and you're going to flip that steak. See that? Look at that. You're going to flip that steak and you're going to turn it over. Yeah. If you're a meat lover, you know where I'm coming from, right? This is going to be some good eating. I'll put a little bit more oil in there, okay? And you turn your stove down to a particular temperature. And you let that cook. You see that? Get a closer look. Get a closer look, honey. We're going to be good today. Get a closer look. You know, there's nothing wrong with going out to eat. I tell you, I love eating out. I'm always eating out. But sometimes I like to be at home. And I like to cook my food to my life and to my taste, you know? Whatever seasoning you like on your food, you use that, okay? Salt, pepper, and whatever other seasoning you use to make your food taste so good, oh so well, you use that. And then you come over here, and you mix. You mix that sauteed onion up to your liking, okay? And you let that cook, turn that up a little bit. See that? You see that? That's a skillet full of goodness. I don't play when I come in the kitchen. You hear me? I do not play. I like to eat. And I like to eat well. Okay? Alright? You get these nice juicy steaks from all this. Look how thick that is. Look at it. Okay? I made the salad already, guys. My salad I made with green onions, no, I'm sorry, purple onions, as they call it, red onions, tomato, cheese, and lettuce, iceberg. Look at that. See that? The mushrooms and the onion, it makes a lot of juice. It's cooking now, guys. Look at that. I'm falling in love. Yeah. I make you fall in love, baby. Way to your heart is to your stomach, and I know how to get there. I know how to get there. I promise you I do. Alright guys. We're going to let this cook a little bit. You know. Whatever you're liking as far as the type of steak. If, if you like yours medium well. You have to let it cook a little longer. If you like it medium. You know what I'm saying. You don't let it cook as long. But I'm going to let this cook. Because everybody don't like the steak the way I like it. I like my steak. Let me flip it back over. I like my steak medium, or medium well. Some people like theirs well done. But yes, it's cooking. So we're going to come back to this. 
And we're going to let this finish cooking. And I'm going to come back to you. And we're going to plate this thing up. Stay tuned. Also, guys, as I uh, as you look at this fabulous meal that I'm preparing, take the time to go to my uh, YouTube page. Yes, as, as you take the time to look at this fabulous meal that I'm preparing, take the time to go to my YouTube page and click the like and subscribe button, okay? The notification button. That way I can keep you in tune as to everything that I'm doing, keeping it with the latest fashion, clothing line, food, all the good stuff. But yeah, you guys go to my page, Patricia E. Dash Jackson. And uh, there's a lot of good things on that page. And keep up with me so I can uh, keep you guys in tune. All right? I'll get back to you later. I'm going to plate this food up so you can see exactly how it looks. But it has to cook a little longer. But I will plate it up for you. Talk to you soon. Hold on. Yes, family, I am back. Everything is done. I promised you that I will plate this so you can see what's going on. Um, I had to actually... Get some potatoes in here. I had to throw them in the microwave because you know a steak ain't a steak without some potatoes. You know what I'm saying? I had all vegetable. That's good too. But uh, I wanted to have a baked potato. But instead of me baking it, I put it in the microwave. It's just as good. But as I plate this, I want you to see as I plate this. Uh, that's the steak there. That's my uh, uh, baked potato slash mac microwave potato. But it tastes tastes the same. And I'm gonna put a little sauteed mushrooms and onions on there i had to actually get some more mushrooms because i love mushrooms and that what i had earlier was just not enough not enough okay okay this here steak is well done okay mine's as you can see is medium that's the way i like mine's mm -mm. good you see that delicious delicious yeah and this is my baked potato look I like a lot of butter and sour cream. That's why, um, that's why I'm thick, y'all. Y'all pray for me. And I'm gonna put a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna put some sautéed mushrooms and onions on mine. As I say, I love mushrooms and onions. I love mushrooms. So as you can see, that's a helping heaping of that. Okay. All right. See that? Let's go into that. It's mushroom, sautéed onions, baked potato, sour cream, and butter. And my steak, I love my steak medium. See, I like the pink center. Just the way I like it. And over here, I didn't cut into this one. This one is well done. Yeah. See that? See all that goodness? And that's some sauteed mushrooms and onions. Let me put a little bit more on this plate here. Okay? And guys, this is my salad. I was just going to have salad, but I said, let me put some starch in it. This here salad consists of... Um, Iceberg lettuce. Okay, it's spilling all over the place, guys. And I'm going to plate it over here just a little bit. Okay? So we've got a little color there. You know, that color says it all. All right? And we're going to go back over here. I made a little boo boo. I don't know how I'm getting this salad out, but you guys get the picture. You guys get the drift. Put a little of this salad here on my plate. Okay? Made a little mess there, guys. Guess what? We'll work that out. I'm going to scoop a little bit more. All right. Put some of that on my plate. See that? Get a little color there. A little color on there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is a meal prepared at home. You guys can do it. Anybody can do it, you know? Just take your time, you know? Fix you something good. Sit back, sit back and get your glass of wine. If you don't drink wine, drink you some water. You know, water is good for you. Put a little color on there. I like color. I like color and I like more salad. <laughs> but yes, guys, this is what my plate consists of. You know, my salad it has red onions, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and look at that goodness. Look at this goodness here. You got your sauteed mushrooms. And you got your sauteed onions. See that? Mm, mm, mm. Then I'm going to slide over here. You got your baked potato. See that potato? It's not baked. It's actually been cooked in the microwave. You know, I don't know if you guys ever had microwave potatoes. 
a baby, they taste just as good. You hear me? See that? Let them stand there for about five minutes, ten minutes. Depends on how big your potato is. It's starting to melt already, guys. It's hot. And that is my juicy steak, baby. I bought that from Aldi's. It's affordable. Look how thick that steak is. See how the thickness on that steak? Baby, I know you guys got that stimulus check. Y'all better go down there and buy you some food from Aldi's and sit back and lay back and chill out and treat yourself right. Get your bottle of wine, stay at home, and watch, you know, watch a great movie. Or, or, or if you don't drink, get you some soda, get you some water. But whatever the case, take some time out for you. All right? And see, I'm going to slide over here. This meal here is fit for a king and queen, just like yourself, okay? Take some time for yourself. Do, do something special for yourself, okay? I do this kind of thing all the time, so, you know, I love on me. And this salad, as I told you, see that? Well done steak. If you like your steak well done, that's the way to go. If you like a steak medium, this is the way to go, okay? All right, guys. I want to tell you, thank you for chiming in and, and, and watching me prepare the steak that I promised that I was going to share with you guys. And I thank you for being the artist that you are. And, and uh, without you, there's no me. Uh, go to my page, like, subscribe. Uh, go to Patricia E. Dash Jackson. Tune, stay tuned because I got a lot of good stuff coming, guys. And I don't want you guys to miss out. Bon appetit. See you soon. Smooches. Later.